Hello and welcome to Black Culture Explained. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the new Great Black Migration. The one that took place in the early 1900s and the one that's happening right now in the United States. We, black people, are quickly gaining more and more money. And not just regular money. We're getting rich, rich out here. Like, actually creating wealth. And since we are, we are moving out of some of the older cities and moving into new ones. And no, not just Atlanta. So what does this mean for us black people as the largest ethnic group in the United States? Let's find out. Up until the early 1900s, over 50% of Southern Americans were black Americans. However, as the century went on, more and more black American families moved to the North and Midwest to get away from racism, segregation, and the harsh Jim Crow laws. The North was thought to be a safe place for black families to go but this was partially due to the fact that it was a place where they wouldn't be persecuted. Industry wage in the cities of Northern America was three times that of what a black American made working in the fields in the South. The promise of a better future, more work opportunities, and less racial oppression led to nearly six million African Americans to move into what's now known as the Great Migration. The most important of these places for black people to settle was New York City. The art, the music, and theater that came out of this community became known as the Harlem Renaissance. These artistic achievements changed how people thought of black people in American culture. Over the next 10 years, from 1910 to 1920, the black population in urban areas grew quickly. This was especially true in the big cities of Northern America. The number of black people in Detroit grew by nearly 600%, which is the most of any city in the United States. The number of black people living in Philadelphia grew by over 500%. The number of black people in Chicago grew by 150%. And the number of black people in New York grew by 66%. However, the Great Migration did not improve the lives of black people in America, and its effects were short-lived. This is because of the subtle racism that existed in the North, which stopped progress and prosperity for the black community. A large part of the country's success can be attributed to the fact that more and more black Americans are going to college and doing well in the job market. However, as time has gone on, it has become clear that these large urban cities can no longer offer the same benefits to the black community as they once did. These cities have failed the black population with their terrible public schools, laws, biased health care, high crime rates, and fewer than promised job prospects. The 2020 census shows that black people are leaving the once densely populated urban cities of the North. This is similar to the Great Migration of the 1900s, when nearly 9 million black people left their homes in search of a better life in the suburbs and cities of the South. As a result, the cities that were once hubs of black excellence are slowly but surely seeing a steady decline in the African American population. Number one, New York City. The city of New York is starting to show signs of the big new black movement. 2.3 million black people used to live in New York, making it one of the places with the most black people. But because of rising crime and gentrification, the city has lost its title. In 2010, the number of black people living in Brooklyn dropped sharply from 849,000 to 799,000. Number two, the city of Chicago. Between 2016 and 2017, more than 14,000 people left their homes in Chicago and Cook County, which is part of Chicago. African-Americans saw that poor development and high crime were on the rise in Chicago. As a result, more and more black Americans have started to move out of the once crowded city and into the suburbs of the South, where they can find cheaper housing and safer neighborhoods. Illinois in general, particularly the industrial sector, has lost a huge chunk of its workers. Number three, Detroit. Third biggest black population in the country, but that number has dropped over the years and seems to be getting worse. In 2010, 82% of Detroit's people were black, but that number has dropped to 80% in 2015. A lot of this is because crime is getting worse in Detroit and the lack of affordable housing. Number four, the city of Philadelphia. One of the first cities black Americans moved to was Philadelphia. Over time, the city has also felt the effects of the black exodus. From 2010 to 2020, more than 30,000 African-American people left Philadelphia. Census records show that this is the largest dropping population in a decade. Number five, Los Angeles. One of the main reasons why so many black Americans moved from Los Angeles was that they didn't have any good opportunities for employment and lived in poor conditions compared to their white counterparts. Over the years, the number of African Americans in Los Angeles has gone way down. Because of racial issues, more than 275,000 black Americans have left California's coastal towns. Next is the city of Cleveland. In the past, many black families moved to Cleveland because of its relative economic stability, high living standards, and fast-paced work life. 
However, Cleveland has seen a drop in its black population with nearly 33,000 people leaving the city. One reason for this is that the state's deindustrialization has caused many people to lose their jobs. Number seven, the city of Baltimore. The U.S. Census shows that almost 7,000 people, mostly African Americans, have left the city of Baltimore. Even though there's still a lot of black people living in Baltimore, many have left because of problems with city government, high crime rates, and rapid urban decay. Number eight, Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi doesn't have good school systems and high paying jobs that most African Americans want. Because of this, the number of African Americans in the state is starting to go way down. Overall, Mississippi has lost over 14,000 black people. Number nine, St. Louis, Missouri. Lots of black Americans are leaving St. Louis because they don't have access to good schools and they can't afford to live there. And there just aren't enough good jobs. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Number 10 is Milwaukee. The 2020 census shows us that more than 27,000 black people have moved out of the city of Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a harsh winter climate, high taxes, and a poor job market. And it's hard for black communities to do well in a place with all of Milwaukee's political problems. It's estimated that one in three black Americans live below the poverty line in Milwaukee. Because of this, Milwaukee has seen a huge decline in its black population. Now let's see where black Americans are migrating to. The black community is now moving to warmer climates like the South, Southwest, and the West. The urban renaissance, which was caused by black Americans entering the urban workforce, has ended as blacks return to where they used to live. The numbers show that the following cities are the new face of the black community in the new great migration. Number 10, Fort Worth, Texas. For the first time ever, the number of black people living in Fort Worth is more than 1 million. There are a lot of Fortune 500 companies in Fort Worth, which makes it a great place for business owners and corporate workers to do well. Fort Worth also has a low cost of living, which makes it a great place to live along with its low crime rate. Jacksonville, Florida. One of the main reasons why black people are moving to Jacksonville is because it has a diverse and growing economy. As a result, African Americans can find high paying jobs in some of the most competitive industries in America, such as health, IT, finance, and technology. Number eight, Charlotte. Charlotte has the second best banking industry in the United States and a tech industry that is quickly growing. As a result, many black banking and tech professionals have moved to Charlotte to take advantage of these booming industries. Charlotte is also much safer, has a higher standard of living, and is home to some well-known universities, which gives black people a better economic opportunities. Number seven, Atlanta, Georgia. The city of Atlanta has passed Chicago as the city with the second highest number of black people. Between 1990 and 2020, the number of black people living in Atlanta has almost doubled to more than two million. Over the past few decades, many African-American families have moved to Atlanta because of its diverse culture, fast-paced work environment, and better living standards. Number six, Houston, Texas. The African-American population in Houston, Texas is growing like never before. The low cost of living in Texas and the chances of landing a good job are the main reasons for this. Houston also has a diverse society, which makes life much easier for minorities. Number five, Dallas. Are you starting to notice a pattern here? Dallas, Texas is another place in Texas that made the list. Dallas is a great place to live because it has a low cost of living, a low rate of unemployment, a low rate of crime, great schools, and even better healthcare. In addition to all that, business owners can even take advantage of the city's very lax tax laws. Number four, Seattle. African Americans have moved to Seattle in large part because of its industrial and tech industries. Other ethnic groups have also noticed Seattle's huge growth potential, and the city's population has been growing steadily overall. Seattle is known for having many great schools and a diverse number of companies with great job opportunities. Number three, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is one of the best cities for black Americans to move to because it has a low living cost, a multicultural society, and a sunny climate. People from places like Los Angeles have been moving to the exciting city of Las Vegas in droves. Because of this, Las Vegas has the biggest growth rate of all the metro areas. Recently, the number of black people in Las Vegas has gone up. Sin City is a draw mainly for its lack of income taxes, convenient geographical location, tourism, and of course, gambling. Number two, Orlando, Florida. Orlando's black population has grown over the years because the city has low taxes, a diverse culture, a strong job market, and the country's largest tourism economy. Cheaper housing and many good colleges and universities are also a big draw. Orlando's corporate sector is also growing very rapidly, which makes it a great place for well-educated people looking for corporate growth opportunities. 
Number one, Minneapolis. The city of Minneapolis is also known as the center of culture, but in many African Americans who used to live in Chicago have moved there. The city has a great infrastructure, a low crime rate, better education facilities, and lots of jobs for its black residents. The Twin Towns is a great place for the African American community to do well because they have better living conditions and low unemployment rates. That's it for the most popular cities in America for black Americans to move to and for us to move out from. Let us know in the comments if you've moved to or moved out of any of the towns on our list. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Black Culture Explained so that you never miss any of our videos. Until next time, peace.